morning it is day 44 today and i had such a lovely evening i got here very early completely chilled out i took some time to take care of my feet have some good food and had coffee even though it was cold it was still coffee and i just completely relaxed i got loads of editing done on my videos and then this morning i've been the same everyone's already left camp and i was still there on my phone editing away i've taken my time and had some breakfast had some more coffee it's been so nice. I mean, I've, I know I've got a bit of time to make up now. I've got about 14 miles to do to get to Agua Dolce, where my resupply package is being held at Hiker Heaven. So I'm looking forward to going there and then socialising with people. But I've decided to go a little bit crazy this morning and, do, and make ramen noodles healthy. So I always leave some emergency food at the bottom of my food bag for days that if I am out longer, so I always carry a little bit more. And ramen noodles are usually the things that are left because I think they're the most unhealthy. But I've decided to go and kind of give them a revamp. So this is what I'm actually going to do. So I have my ramen noodles prepared in my talenti jar, ready for some cold soaking. But instead of the soy sauce mixture that comes with it that's full of nasty ingredients, I'm going to add in this, the green superfood mix that I carry around with me. So I try and have these every day or two. Um, and usually on their own, but I'm going to actually add this to the noodles and see what happens. So I'll let you know how it goes. So starving this morning I don't know if it's because I'm actually running out of food and I know that I'm on limited supplies but I'm just so hungry today so I've just stopped I'm having one of these nature's bakery fig bars which is very yummy I've had one before they're really nice and the, oh it's been so nice this morning because the weather hasn't been too hot or too cold the trails kind of been flattish it's all going rather well today I like it <laughs> so strange seeing a road again. I feel like I've been out in the wilderness for months. down to the road where the car park was it's about half a mile away from the KOA here and I've bumped into a lovely couple who are really into their hiking and they were providing trail magic so they gave us some fizzy drinks and some crisps which was so appreciated so homeboys of the PCT thank you so much it was so lovely meeting you both walking along thinking you're in the absolute middle of nowhere being all wild and free and then you come across a site like this 
Oh yeah, <laughs> getting closer to town. Oh, look at this, I got a new flower today. I've not seen this one before. It looks like some kind of poppy maybe. That is so nice. I can't quite say that my dinner looks very inviting. I'm trying to be healthy out here, I really am. But it looks a bit strange, let me show you. Here we go. Here's a super green ramen. <laughs> I mean, it looks a bit healthy, but I've got to try it, haven't I? I'm actually feeling a bit nervous. Here goes nothing. Super green ramen. <laughs> Oh, this isn't going to be good, is it? Okay. <laughs> oh, it's not too bad. It's not as bad as I was thinking it was going to be, actually. I wouldn't... <laughs> Unless you're trying to be healthy, I wouldn't recommend it. But it isn't actually too bad. Um... I think in a way it's maybe a little bit nicer than drinking it just straight out of a cup because the noodles seem to give it a little bit of a sweeter taste to it as well. Obviously I've not put any of the sauce mixture in with the noodles, it's just the green super green powder so. Mm. It's okay, it's actually okay. <laughs> I've got a little creepy tunnel I've got to walk under. <laughs> that looks fun. Now it's times like this when entering a dark tunnel where you can't see an actual thing then a head torch would be really useful right now. I've got one in my bag. Why did I not think to bring it out but hey ho there's light at the end of the tunnel. I've just come across this nest. I can't see any activity at the moment though. This is kind of cool. just got to an incredible area. It's called Vasquez Rocks which is a Los Angeles County Park. It's 932 acres 
and it's full of these interesting and um, beautiful rock formations all caused by the San Andreas Fault and it is absolutely incredible walking through it because we've been in mountains and desert and all kinds of places in the snow but these formations are just fantastic um, I believe they've filmed, lo filmed loads of um, movies here as well and TV series um, the movies include things like Planet of the Apes, Star Trek, Blazing Saddles and then lots of TV series as well and I think there's a film crew around about, where is it? around about there behind me somewhere so I'm not sure if it's going to be blocked off when I get there but I'll zoom in while I'm here just in case I don't go around the corner but it is so amazing walking through here um, it's, oh, it's, in, it's incredible just seeing all the different formations everything's just so fascinating Are you ready for my Star Wars tribute? It's very poor. <laughs> Isn't that what they do? <laughs> Take two. I got the wrong film. <laughs> Star Trek tribute. There we go. Star Trek, not Star Wars. <laughs> Does that really say bladder poo? That's a very unfortunate name for a plant. Kind of cool though, look at the little pods on it. Oh, this is incredible. Wow. It's crazy to think that the Earth has actually done this. Wow. This is my first California juniper tree. These are all the films that have been done here. That's kind of cool having it here. Oh, I didn't realise 24 had been filmed here as well. Gosh, there's loads more here that I didn't realise. I was doing so well, I got lost. I started going down the Nature Heritage Trail by accident. But it's alright, I found my way again. Oh my goodness, I remember on my first week coming across these strange little things in the soil thinking that it was pretend grass but these ones are yellow and there's a sign here saying buried gas line maybe that's what it was oh mystery solved on the last stretch to Agua Dolce lovely bit of road walking I had it in my head that Agua Dolce was a very big kind of town or city <laughs> I think this is it it's so funny I honestly thought it was going to be a huge place. I don't know what gave me that idea, but it is so weird. It's so much smaller than I thought. So these are two amazing trail angels. It's <laughs> Jamie and Andy, <laughs> homeboys of the PCT. This is. And they have given me mango and a plum as well yeah, breakfast. <laughs> and breakfast for tomorrow so <laughs> i've got what were you doing today uh, where was it you were today helping all the hikers out oh yeah um, we were doing trail magic yeah at the trailhead i forgot what i'm all no hiking is, today because i hurt my foot yeah. so, <laughs> next day next that's day. all i'm taking a zero yeah. a few zero <laughs> <laughs> but these guys are amazing they've helped Thank out you. so many hikers today and it's people like this that make it so like easy for us guys out here because yeah. it's the little things all it is sometimes is a fizzy drink or some crisps or a hug or a friendly little word and it means so much so you guys thank you pleasure meeting you for sure no problem <laughs> and don't tell anyone about the pizza there you go <laughs> <We'll figure it>. <laughs> <laughs> they'll find out don't worry okay. i've been sat in the pizza place and my pizza has just turned up it's actually bigger than me look at this 
It is a yummy vegetable pizza with vegan cheese, 12 inch, huge. <laughs>